Yo, what's up? It's the Sports Dad in the building. I done went and got crispy on y'all. I told y'all I was going to get crispy. I couldn't do that last video. I was, I was shaming myself, you know, but I done went and got clean. My face is smooth like a baby's butt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, Sports Dad in the building. Um, thanks for tuning in. Listen, before we get started, I told y'all, y'all gotta hit that like button and then go subscribe to my channel so y'all see the new uh, notifications coming out about the videos that I'm posting. All right, now this particular video, we're going on an MSU visit. That's right, Michigan State University. We went on an unofficial visit. Um, unofficial visits are pretty cool because actually it gets you in front of the coaches and so it gives you an opportunity to network. Um, I definitely believe players and parents um, should network and there were some opportunities um, where that could have happened or where, where that did happen um, on this particular visit that you will see because I'm going to take you inside like I promised you guys. I told you I'm going to be bringing you live interviews from people that have experience uh, from, from athletes that are being recruited, from parents um, that have athletes that were recruited and I'm going to try to get with some coaches too. Um, because I want you guys to get all of the information that you possibly can because you know in, in the world that we live in today You know you got a lot of selfish people and, and 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 they seem a little stingy sometimes for those people that have You know had the opportunity of being recruited They act like they don't want to share information with you. They act like they don't want to share their resources with you um, In some cases they may try to charge you and try to make a profit off of it, but we're not doing that um, at the end of the day, you know, let's help each other because I definitely believe in the law of reciprocation. So, um, once again, like, um, hit the subscribe button, and we're gonna keep it. It's only a championship drive if you can finish it. Right now we're waiting for um, the coach to make his speech. They got us on a little itinerary right now, so we're waiting on him to make his speech. Over to Coach Antonio to address her. Go Green. Here are the, thanks, Sean. The coaches. Just uh, real quick, guys, just want to say thanks on behalf of Michigan State for coming in today. Being a part of the uh, first game, you know, a lot of you guys have had uh, games either last night or, or or your season's underway as well. So, um, but uh, when I come in, I just talk about our basic goals real quick. Our goals are number one, have a relationship with our guys that let go beyond here and last a lifetime. That's a challenge. You know, in this day and age, that's difficult at times. So that's what we strive for. Those are the things we're always pushing for. So it demands a commitment on our part. Be able to trust each other. Okay, stay connected and communicate. Number two, you gotta get your degree. Have the biggest effect on your life. Gotta figure out something you wanna do other than play football because football's gonna end for you. Number three, gotta win. Got all this stuff here, gotta win. Okay, so we've been able to do that at a high level and we need to continue to do that. With your help, uh, we will continue to do that. So recruiting is the lifeline of our, of our program. Uh, gotta learn how to work. Gotta be a light in the community. Those are the, really, that's the foundation of who we are. So, appreciate you guys coming. Um, I know that you have other places you can go as well, so have a great night tonight and go green. Thanks. All right, All right thanks coach. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring up all of our assistant coaches um, and introduce, they'll be able to introduce you and tell you the recruiting area, the position that they're coaching. Welcome to Michigan State, thanks for coming tonight. Obviously, we're very excited with our opening game, and, and on a Friday night, we really could not have picked a better night, better weather. So we're just excited, obviously, I think, to hit somebody else, too. We've been at it for four weeks against each other, so hopefully you guys just enjoy an evening, cheer loud, and go green. All right, Coach Ron Burton, defensive tackles coach, had the Jackson area locally and also in Chicago, also D.C., Maryland, Virginia, where I'm from. And uh, thank you for coming out tonight. It starts down the middle with our defense, with our defensive tackles, okay? They're taking a pounder, you're going to see them work, and we want to be as disruptive as we can. So let's have a great time tonight. Go Green! Go <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Um, Terry Samuel, wide receiver coach. Um, I'm probably sweating right now. You see that when the OC says, uh, I've got wide receivers that can make plays, I'm already sweating. You know, that's not exactly Pound Green guy. So, all right, we got to make some plays tonight. So, guys. Uh, the thing that I want to just stress to you guys is just 
there's a lot of trust. Me, I have a lot of guys that I can play, but it's all about the trust. So I'm just passing out a little bit of knowledge to you guys. Have trust in your position coach. All right, develop that relationship. If you trust me, I trust you, we'll make things happen. All right, go green. All right. Welcome, Chuck Bulla, defensive end coach. Uh, my recruiting area is Western Michigan, above Grand Rapids, Central Illinois, New England, New Jersey, and then some California. Uh, so I'm kind of all over. Uh, alumni here played here, came back and started my GA in 98, and now I've uh, returned home. So I'm excited to see that. You can see the brand of football, Michigan State football, has never changed since I, when I played here 30 years ago. It's going to be some tough, hard-hitting stuff out there. You guys are going to really enjoy it. Thank you. Here with my own son. He's a sophomore here, Cody White, number seven. You'll see him out there playing today. But what really hit me on this slide is not only the 200. I mean, Coach D'Antoni has graduated 200 players. That's a ton. So you get here, that's what you're here for, not just to play football. But what really caught my eye was the 35, which is now, Mandy said, 39 different majors. That really hit me because when we were taking trips, make sure anywhere you go, you ask that question while you're out there. And get away from us because we're giving a presentation. But get away from us and walk around and ask those players, what's your major? What's your major? And see if they keep giving you the same thing. Some guys, some places you go, they'll give you the same answer. Everybody's got the same major. That means, oh, there's a football major. Um, here, they're gonna, there are academic people who are relentless. They are going to search you and find you and they're gonna make sure they know exactly what your skill set is. And that's how you get to 39 different majors for 200. So that's what impressed me about that. The other thing that, that always hits me is a lot of guys, when you come here, they will ask that question to me, the younger guys, will I have a chance to play as a freshman? And that's up to what you guys do from here until you get here. I mean, you got to be some ballers. you got to continue to get better, continue to ongoing skill development. So when you ask that question, I will tell you this, and this slide will go away probably after this presentation, but we played 13 true freshmen last year on a 10-3 team. Um, if you are playing well and practicing well in practice, he's going to put you in the game. You're going to see a lot of players play out there, and you're going to play fast and hard, and you will not play. So when those guys get a little winded, they're going to see you're going to see another new group running in because uh, we're going to continue to play hard. But we played 13 true freshmen last year. Um, so that was, that was huge. The year before we played nine, the year before we played three. It just depends on where you are. But you got a lot of work to do from now until then. And it's going to depend on how you play now. I see that nice little 85-yard touchdown last night. Yep, I saw that one on highlights too. Tate. But anyway, though, um, also, and if you are not ready to play when you get here, we are so, I have a history of developing players as well. You're going to see Kenny Willickis, third team all Big Ten last year on the far left of that slide there. Um, he came in as a walk-on, and he's a hungry dude. I mean, I've been in the NFL a long time. There's one other guy that uh, reminded me of him in the National Football League. He is a hungry guy. You're going to see him going all the time. And that's every day, energy, everything. Mr. White, he was a, his freshman year, hey, I, I just want to get on the field. Why don't you watch my tape? What do I need to do? I'm going to practice as hard as I can practice. And then he goes out and becomes a player for us last year, and he will play next year. What's up, Duante? See you in the house. A couple comeback wins. But um, anyway, though, uh, developing players. The other guy, Cole Chewins, you saw him on the academic slide. He's our academic first-team All-American as well, and he came in as a 240-pound walk-on. Uh, he is now 292 pounds in our starting left tackle. And it took a while, but it's developing players as well. So we have a history of that. Obviously, Jack Conklin is the poster boy for that for us. Um, for walk on here, who's the top 10 player in the draft, NFL All-Pro is freshman year. I mean, rookie year in there. So you want to play in front of a crowd once you get here. This is the 62nd year we're in the top 25 in attendance. 62 straight years. Our student section is already sold out for the season. You cannot get a ticket as a student here. It's already sold out. This game is sold out. So you're going to see some wild, crazy people out here. They're going to be going crazy for the Michigan State Spartans. So with that, I'm going to give you this highlight that we had um, that our, our players are watching downstairs before they take the field. And then we are going to head out ourselves right after this highlight. So we'll flip this on and we'll go out. Go Green.
game stuff. See the players on the field. Nothing but coaches all in this area. Nothing but coaches. So, you know, when you do come on these visits, don't be shy. Work the room and get in front of the coaches.